In this video, we're going to cover connecting Power BI to an RDS in Amazon Web Services. And specifically, we're going to connect to an Aurora database with uh, MySQL compatibility. So first, we want to make sure that we have an AWS RDS Aurora instance created. And we're going to choose when we create that, or when it's created for us, a MySQL compatibility. We're also obviously going to need some credentials to connect to the RDS instance. We're going to need the endpoint, and then we're going to need uh, credentials or proper access to the RDS as well. Once we get those, um, we're going to use a MySQL driver to connect to the Aurora database, um, or we can use a MySQL embedded driver in Power BI, and I'll show you how to do that, and with the ODBC driver as well. So first thing we need is we're going to go to make sure that our RDS instance is up and running and that we have a valid endpoint. So we want to copy this endpoint right here and we want to validate that it is actually publicly accessible and it, we might, uh, if the port has changed from the default port of 3306, we'll want to make note of that too. So first off, we can set up a new ODBC driver. I'll use the MySQL ODBC driver here. We'll paste in our uh, endpoint, use our user credentials, And we'll test that we can actually connect to that database and you can see that we're successful. Say OK from there and now we have a new DSN. From there we can go to Power BI. We can use uh, two different methods to connect to the Aurora database in AWS. First off we could use the MySQL database connection here. So again we're going to need that endpoint. We'll paste the endpoint here. We'll click OK. Oop. We're going to actually connect to the Power BI database. We're going to use database credentials here. So we're going to use our username and password. Connect. So we're going to paste in our endpoint here, give it a database name, type in our credentials. Now we have a visibility into the RDS in Aurora. So I can choose my table, click load. Power BI will make a connection to the RDS Aurora instance, select all the data from that one table, bring it down locally. And then from there, I can use Power BI in a normal fashion. Now we can also connect to data in a different way using an ODBC driver. So I've opened up a new instance of Power BI. We can get data from here. Choose the ODBC option. And then we'll choose our ODBC driver that we created. Again, we'll use database credentials. Through the driver, we'll be able to see the database uh, instance in the RDS for Aurora. We choose Power BI, our table customer, and then we can load data through the ABC driver. So, showed you the two ways to connect Power BI to an Aurora database in AWS. Uh, the database that we connected to in Aurora was MySQL uh, compatible. Some common issues you'll have if you don't, uh, if you're not able to connect to the Power, uh, Power BI to the AWS uh, RDS, is that potentially the instance is not public. Uh, your security group may be blocking your IP or your ability to get to that database. Uh, you may have some configurations in your network ACLs that are preventing you from seeing the database. Uh, potentially, you don't have the right credentials. Uh, and, and lastly, you might have some sort of firewall issues on your end that are blocking you from seeing the AWS. Thanks for your time.